Ski maintenance with a quick tune. Hey, I'm Darren Riles. I'm here to show you my routine when skis come off the snow. Okay, while the iron's getting hot, I'm gonna show you one thing to do if you don't wanna do a hot wax. Uh, Wend has some awesome non-floral wax right here, and uh, which I typically always use for training days. I'll use this Wend MF Metal Foam Race Wax, which is non-fluorinated. You know where we gotta go these days? Uh, Wend's been the leader in wax brands, started really early going for the environmental friendly uh, approach where there's no florals in their wax and that. And this right here, some new stuff they're working on. It is non-petroleum or NP, plant-based wax. It is a towel and this is great for like, if you're drying your skis off and you gotta put them in the truck for a long drive home or uh, wrapping them up in a ski bag for a trip like most ski racers do at the end of the day after a race they could just um, use this wipe it on there it's a thin wax it actually scrapes like real wax but it's a really good way to go to protect the base so i like to just uh so the base has been cleaned with a steel brush wiped down and for a quick easy application of some wax just to protect the base you always don't put wax on your base this is a good quick easy way to do it without having to hot wax, spend all the time hot waxing. I just would uh, rub this on, kind of old school. And um, you do it two ways. You could do it old school with the nylon brush, which we'll do. But I'm gonna do the first half with a rotor brush, makes it way easier. Always have the brush spinning away from you so the wax um, is pushed away. You're not like throwing it in your face. Don't go too fast on the RPMs with the rotor brush. You don't want to get too much friction, too much heat going. So you can see I was just really buffs it in there. It shines at the base really well. If you don't have a rotor brush, hand brush. Again, side cuts making really top quality brushes here along with the rest of their tools. And I'll just scrub it, buff it back and forth. Put about the same pressure forward as I am coming back. Really working that in. I mean, you can't really see the difference between the rotor brush, the hand brush, but um, so you can do it both ways. I just finished off a couple tip to tails, nylon, same, actually I'll go with the brass. And I like to just tip to tail the brass, just open the structure up a little more. The nylon really buffed it in. And then uh, a good thing to do, like we were talking about before, always keep the tools clean. So I'll just use a scraper and I'll get that wax dust off there. Follow up with a little uh, clean pass on top of the ski here, the towel. Get all that wax dust off and then they're good to go. Strap them up and ready for the next day. If you want a hot wax, I'd recommend using, uh, you know, for any train day, the non floral NF wax right here. And then you want to coat the, the base evenly where the hot iron will not touch the dry base because that could damage the base. So. You down like that. Always keep your wax in a bag or back in the box. You don't want it to get dirty. And just uh, spread the wax out here. Back and forth. I tend to kind of go a little quicker just to try and not let any hot metal from the iron touch the base until it's evenly spread out. Okay, hit this whole thing up. And go a little quicker here, just to save some time. 
I would go over this a couple more times. But uh, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go a little quicker here. You want to have a nice wet, like leave the, the, a nice wet finish, leave the wax hot on the base, let it penetrate the base, the structure, get in there, conditions the base, protects it, and gives you a good glide over the snow. So, I would let this dry, and then I would like come back and I'd buff the sidewalls and edges out really well. I don't want to have any wax left on like this drip right here. I don't want to have that on there when I put it back on snow. This ski has already been prepped real nice. You could tell it is clean on the sidewalls. But one thing I do before I start screen brushing, I would take some of this other wind product, this Ralph's Race Paste. Get it on there. And you can see it's kind of dry. Look in that, that sidewall. And I just buff this on the sidewall. Because you know, the skis are laid up in a turn. You don't want just the base fast, you want the sidewalls fast. That's why I have a nice clean edge to hold on the hard snow. Um, sidewalls, even the plate, have it really smooth, clean, free of any wax, except for the little paste you just put on there. Done with that iron. Unplug that. No need to waste electricity. And then a uh, nice, super clean scraper. I like to use sandpaper, it's like 150 grit. Keep the edge smooth and uh, nick free. It'll just leave a lot better finish on your base. You don't want to put any streaks or any grooves down your base from a scraper that is all messed up. So this nice smooth sharp scraper gets the wax off really nicely. Get the wax up the entire tail there. I'll use the end of the scraper, drag it back on the edges. I don't want to use the edge that I'll put on the base. But yeah, this is a good way to get the wax off on the edge there. A couple passes that way. Get a little extra wax on the tip I gotta get off here. If you don't clean the base, or don't get all the wax off the base, it's gonna be beveled too much. It's gonna slip around and it's not gonna perform that well. So I'll scrub this ski with a brass brush to start with, back and forth, I'm trying to open up the structure here. I kind of tend to favor one side a little bit and the other side, I want to get all the wax off the base. And then I'll finish with tip to tail strokes. For race prep, I would be scraping or sorry, I'll be brushing a lot more. Scrape that brush, clean it up. Take a nice pass with the towel. Try and get that remaining wax dust off. And then again, scrubbing the base. Kind of polishing it up with this nylon. It's a stiff nylon brush. Don't be afraid of going back and forth but then finish in the direction of tip to tail. Just doing a couple passes here in three sections for racing. A race prep here, I'd be doing a ton more of uh, brushing. Really want to polish this up and finish with this. And then, um, yeah, I'm pretty much done. 
don't touch your hands to the base. Oil from your hands attracts dirt and uh, we don't want that. So take a, uh, take a towel and <laughs> scrape this off. Or sorry, brush this off. Get all the wax shavings cleaned up. Let's ski. Just like that. And uh, yeah, I mean, I would strap them up then and they're ready to go for the next day of training or racing on snow. So hope these helped out quite a bit. Just remember to keep your tools clean. Uh, really a little bit of maintenance every day on the skis helps so much and uh, yeah that's the way to get the best performance have no doubt in your equipment and it's all up to you on the race hill so take care of your stuff it'll take care of you see ya